Hello and welcome to the Trade Decorator Festival. Um, I'm glad that so many of you have joined us this morning and um, we're live here with Paul Mousel from Trimaco and he's going to be doing a demonstration on the, the, some of their job site protection products. Um, before um, we go, go ahead, what I want to do is draw your attention to the comments box. Feel free to comment there. Um, if you do have a specific question, if you could hit the ask a question box and type in your question and it will just give us a chance to keep on track of the session and make sure we don't miss any questions. Um, if you have the same question as somebody else, if you can click on the vote button rather than retype the question. And again, it will help us keep the session moving smoothly. Now, we do have a try make or competition to win one of two easy up dust containment systems running on our website website. Um, if you've not already entered, then there's the link there in the comments box for you to do that after the session. And the competition ends on the 30th of September. So welcome to the session, Paul. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, everybody. Hello. Um, I'm glad you could join us. Can you um, tell us a little about Trimaco? Yes. So, so yes, uh, um, I am uh, the sales manager for the UK and Ireland for Trimaco. So Trimaco is a US-based company. Um, and we offer just about every kind of job site um, protection. So we do everything from some of the masking products that you see here, um, right the way up into dust containment, as you've already said, and heavy duty sort of surface and flooring protection, some of which I'm gonna show you some demonstrations of. So a lot of our stuff that we do is kind of at the higher end. So we do some sort of very high quality, very high end dust sheets and that kind of stuff. So um, steering away sort of from the very sort of conventional cheap cotton dust sheets if you like our stuff tends to be more at the the, the, the top end if, if people want sort of um you know high quality products for doing their jobs and so on that's where we sort of aim our products to be fantastic and what are you going to be doing for us today so i'm going to do a few product demonstrations um mainly on the sort of surface protection side of things so we've got some various different products here and so like i said some of the sort of more specialist um, dust sheets that we offer. I've got a, got a couple of demos to show you on those as well. Okay, fantastic. Are you ready to do your first demonstration? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, I sure am. Okay, right. I will let you so, take the screen. So in front of you here, you can see, um, these are the a, a simple swatch samples of some of the surface protection we offer. So we have an X paper, we have X board, and we have floor shell. I'm gonna, gonna do them individually for you. I'm gonna start with the X paper. So X paper um, is one and a half times thicker than conventional builder's paper. So this is a product made from um, recycled fibers. So it's very good for the environment and once finished with, can be recycled again. Uh, it's breathable. So this is really important if you're potentially working on um, like a wood floor, any sort of plastic products tend to make the floor sweat. Um, it can be quite damaging to, to wood surfaces because they can sort of bow and lose their shape and so on. Um, but it's great as well if you're working on possibly uh, a concrete floor that's uh, recently been, been laid and it's still going through a curing process. You can put this down. It's not going to do, do any damage to that at all. Um, so, yes, you can use this out on, on mainly hard surfaces. Um, but all of those things I've just said. It has what's called a spill block technology in it. So any fluid gets spilled on this, it's gonna hold it on its surface. So it's not gonna soak through, it's not gonna penetrate, and it's still gonna protect the surface that's beneath it. So for example, if we just take a little bit of water that we have here, and I tip that on there, you'll see that this is actually just sitting on the surface. We'll leave that on there for that sort of pretty much the duration of this session so you can sort of see. Um, but that will sit on there and it's not gonna, gonna soak through. It will do obviously eventually, but what we would normally say to people is this will probably protect what's underneath it for up to about half an hour. So a tin of paint or whatever gets kicked over, it's going to hold that fluid on there before it starts to soak through. Um, you'd expect that somebody within half an hour is going to probably clean up their mess. So, um, but yes, this comes in a 120 foot roll um, and is, is ideal really, you know, against using sort of uh, standard cotton dust sheets that slide around and move on, on hard surfaces. It's great on countertops as well. You can use it as well. Okay, fantastic. Um, I'll just join you and see if we've got any questions. Oh, sorry.
apologies mm -hmm. i couldn't get back on the screen <laughs> um right have we got any if you've got any questions for paul if you want to just type those questions in um paul if i was looking to buy x paper where would i buy it from and how much would i be looking to pay um so you'll be looking at paying um if you look online um i know sprayman uk they do it for like about 16 pounds 75 plus vat um Brewers, for example, just about everything that, that we sell, if brewers don't actually have it in stock, they could order it in for you. And that probably goes for, for, for your local merchants. Most of them will have accounts with our distributor and so on. Um, but yeah, for a 120 foot roll, you're looking at just under 20 pound a, a roll. Oh, fantastic. And what would I use to join that X paper together? So with just the X paper, so this is this product specifically is designed um, for a residential job, possibly a couple of days, a couple of guys working, um, in which case you could use it for, um, you could use just, just sort of uh, gaffer tape, for example, possibly masking tape, something pretty heavy duty because obviously you've got to walk on it. Um, but given the amount of time, this is going to be down, you know, any sort of, any sort of, sort of heavy duty tape that you've got that you might want to use. Okay. And um, if it's not been down very long, could I reuse it again? Potentially, yes. Depends on the sort of abuse it's taken in the time it's been down, the amount of foot traffic that's gone over it. Um, it isn't normally a product that we would, because of the price and so on, that you would you would think about reusing. But if you maybe went in and did a job and you were done in less than a day, yeah, potentially roll it up and reuse it again. And why would I use X paper over X board? Um, Cost mainly, it would depend on the kind of job. Again, if it's a, if it's just a residential job for a couple of a couple of days with, with, with two guys working on it, um, export will, will you know will last a lot lot longer and is designed to do a much more heavy duty job than that. Um, so it's, it really would come down to cost and the time type of job you're doing. But like I said, if it's only a couple of days, X paper will work out roughly about half the price. So it's going to be a lot more cost effective to use. Okay, would you like to show us export? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let me uh, move our X paper out of the way with its fluid on there. We'll leave that over there for now. So the next product up in the range, and this is the, the most popular product we sell in the UK and the fastest growing product we have in the UK. So export is um, nearly twice as thick as X paper. So again, has all the same properties. This is breathable. It's made from recycled materials and it still has the spill block technology on there. Um, but being a lot more heavy duty, um, it will last infinitely longer. Um, a lot more foot traffic could go over this. In fact, even if you had, for example, a scissor jack going over this product, providing it's going back and forth in a straight line, um, it will stand up to that job no problem at all. Um, but in terms of the abuse it will take, if tools get dropped on this, you may, you know, someone drags ladders or scaffolding over this, this will still do its job. Now, the spill block technology that this has in it goes all the way through its fibers. This isn't a coating that's on the top of the product where if it gets um, uh, damaged in any way, that then it's going to compromise what the product can do. This actually goes all the way through. So to give you an example, if I sort of attack this board here with this screwdriver, that's pretty severe because obviously that's not what's going to really happen, but you can see I've sort of scored and damaged the mark that. And then we pour the fluid on there. This will still do its job in just the same way. So. The fluid will sit on there now this will sit on there for for hours hours and hours and hours so um potentially there isn't going to be the necessity and again if you have it in an area where you've got a lot of foot traffic coming in maybe it's been raining outside and it's wet and so on this will stand up to that uh, very very well and again like i said even if this gets sort of compromised on the surface in any way um the job this will still do its job no problem at all so this is available in a 50 foot roll and we do it in a 100 foot roll. Um, the biggest national distributor that we all supply we have of this is Toolstation. Um, but you, again, you can get this in most merchants. So you can get it in brewers would be able to get this if they didn't have stock. But I do know most brewer stores do normally keep a couple of rolls of this in. So there is also a seam tape going out. We were talking about X paper earlier. You could just use sort of masking tape or gaffer tape. With export being designed to do um, a sort of more heavy duty job, shall we say, there is a specific tape, very much like this one that we see here, to join the two together. So if I just slide that out of the way for the moment. So with the export, what we normally say is when people roll it out, we would say that these are our two rolls, is you overlap the two rolls together by approximately an inch, as you can see there. 
so that if for whatever reason, if the tape did get damaged or failed, you've got that sort of um, fail safe in the fact that there's an overlap of the product. Also, if you lay them side by side, what can sometimes happen is they can start to push up like this if there's, you know, um, you know, scaffolding being dragged over them or potentially a, a forklift or whatever going back and forth on it. But if these push together, that, that by overlapping them, it will prevent that from happening. So this tape that we sell here, this seam tape is incredibly strong and incredibly durable, and it will actually stand up to the job. Let me actually show you what that will do. If we overlap the two joins together and then use the seam tape, this will then give an almost faultless join in our, in our product there. So um, now the tape itself isn't breathable, um, but the actual product it is. So um, this only ever really would be anything of an issue if you're laying on a freshly cured floor. But again, because you've got that overlap there, that should, should eliminate a lot of that. Um, but yes, it's really important that you do use the proper seam tape. Um, it's, it retails at about just under £10 for a roll of export seam tape. So if you're going to invest the time in the actual export itself, um, what you don't want to do is then compromise the product by using masking tape, gaffer tape that after a couple of days, four or five days may roll back. You may get gaps in there that if anything does then get spilled, you're going to compromise the floor that's designed to protect. Also, with the uh, fluid that's on there, what's really important to know is that whilst the fluid will sit on there, if you were to walk through this, it won't track. It will actually draw off um, the, the fluid that's on your, on your boots or shoes or whatever. Um, so actually, by the time hopefully you'll get off the boarding, um, you're not going to track footprints and so on. So, um, yeah, it's really, really uh, quite a clever product in that sense. Okay, fantastic. Thanks, Paul. Um, just want to um, mention, because I see a few more people have joined us in the session. If you yeah. do have a question that you'd like to put to Paul, if you could hit the ask a question button at the bottom and just type it in. If you'd actually like to come on screen and put your question to Paul, um, if you just want to let us know in the comments box and you can actually come up on screen and speak to Paul directly about any questions you've got about any products. Um, so um, how much would we we pay expect to pay a roll for the export then Paul um, so take a hundred foot roll of export take tool station as an example because they're national and everybody knows them and they've probably got one on their doorstep um, they're doing a hundred foot roll it's on offer at the minute and it's about 28 pound a roll I believe so you're looking at less than 30 pound for a hundred foot roll right now and can we use export on carpet if it's a hard, heavy duty carpet, you could do yes and talk thinking of like some of the some of the very hard wearing office carpets you potentially if you get a job there. The more sort of soft pile carpet that you may find in a in a residential property and so on, it's not going to work so much because things will puncture it because there's nothing to support the boarding underneath. But the more heavy duty the floor in, the better really. And how many um square feet does the roll cover? So, with a roll of X board, um, depending on which roll it is, give me one second. So, we've got uh, the, oh, sorry, give me a minute. So, a 50 foot roll of X board will cover 145 square feet. The 100 foot roll, you're going to get 291 square feet from uh, a roll. Okay, and why did you say we shouldn't just use gaffer tape on it to join it? So, if you, so using just gaffer tape, the problem is that the, the, the tape will not be as heavy duty and hard wearing as what the actual floor and protection will be. So um, if you've got a job that you're going to do, I don't know, a, a month or so, and you put export down, you can put the export down and forget about it. What you wouldn't be able to forget about is the tape. And I do hear stories of people having to keep going in in the morning and having to retape all the seams because the you know the gaffer tape potentially has come apart or it rolls back is the other thing if it gets caught it starts to curl back if you use the actual proper seam tape the idea being that the tape will stand up to the dog just as well as the x board so the idea being going in you're not going to waste 10 or 15 minutes every morning or every couple of days having to go around retaping all the seams well it's a false economy isn't it to put gaffer yeah. tape down if you're going to have to keep pulling it back up and it's Absolutely. costing you time yeah. and money so Absolutely, yeah. what's the next product you're going to show us paul and the next one up from that is the most heavy duty of the three. This is floor shell. So this is a very, very heavy duty um, industrial type product. So floor shell effectively is 
uh, twice the thickness of the export we just looked at. But it maintains all those same properties. So it is still breathable. It's still made from recycled fibers. Um, you can obviously recycle it when you're finished with as well. But it's, it's, it's a lot more heavy duty in terms of impact resistance, in terms of things dropping on it. Um, in terms of having to put vehicles over it, if you've potentially got scissor jacks going back and forth, maybe it's a commercial job with lots of spraying involved, you can actually turn a scissor jack on this or potentially have to move forklifts over that. This is where the floor shell will do. Um, so in terms of exactly the same way as the export, it's very heavy duty in terms of the amount of abuse it can take. I really have a go at sort of attacking this floor shell um, whilst little tiny chunks may come off, the actual boarding itself will remain intact. I mean, I've used the sharp side of a screwdriver there, but it was still sitting there. This is so strong, you could actually mix concrete on this product. Um, but this will this will last months and months and months on the job. And again, there is a floor shell seam tape to, to go along with that product as well. Okay. So where would we use floor shell over export? So again, this would be big industrial jobs where you've got, you know, lots and lots of con contractors on site maybe doing lots of different jobs all at the same time you're going to put this down and again it's going to stay down there for, for, for the length of the job even if we're talking months um, so this will stand up to, to some serious abuse and where can i buy that where are you stockists again if you most merchants can get this for you um but i know again that the, the brewers for example i'm just thinking them as a national chain um brewers will have Floor shell. If they don't have it in stock, they have it on their system to be able to order from any one of their branches. And the question everybody always wants to know is, what would I expect to pay for it? So having a quick look online, um, you're looking at about £50 a roll for this product. Maybe between 50 and 60 That was When I looked, that was quite a good price. Um, but yeah, you're going to be looking at somewhere around about £50 a roll upwards. Okay, fantastic. Are we um, ready to move on to the Eliminator Drop Cloth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me just move that out of the way. So the first of our drop cloths to use is this product here called the Eliminator. So as I was saying earlier, we very much um, steer away from selling your, your, your conventional cheap cotton dust sheets, which generally speaking, we tend to find, I think you'll all agree, they don't stand up to many jobs nowadays. Um, they're as thin as a tea bag. Um, so they, you end up having to about put two or three down to be able to get a good covering. Most properties now, they have tile floor, wood floor and so on. They slide around, they move, certainly if you're using ladders and so on. So the eliminator that we have here, this is made of a butyl material. So there's no fibers going to come off this when you're painting like you're going to get with a cheap cotton dust sheet. Um, it's got a rubberized back to it. It's incredibly strong. It's not going to tear. So if you use ladders on it, drag ladders, you can see that this is, this is going to stand up to that job very, very well. And no fluid's going to get through this. Someone kicks a tin of paint over on this, it's going to hold that paint on there and it's not going to soak through. Also, you put pressure on this, it digs into the hard surface that it's on. So it's not going to slide around, it's not going to move. The more pressure you put on this, the more it's going to stick to the floor that it's on. So um, this, this really is um, a super tough, super strong job that it's going to do. Um, you know, whilst you're going to pay a little bit more money for one of these compared to a conventional cotton dust sheet, you have to then work back that if you buy cotton dust sheets, um, how many do you have to put down? Um, so then the price goes up again. And how many jobs do they do before they end up going in the skip? And then you have to replace them. If you buy an eliminator, you're going to buy this once and it's, it's going to last you years. So you're going to get your money back on it very, very quickly indeed. OK, um, I'll just join you, Paul yeah and um i'm just wondering um again what the cost would be for this product um so with an eliminator um if you buy one of these again looking online you can find an eliminator for around about 30 pounds um and that's for a 9 by 12 so that's for 9 by 12 feet dust sheet um you're looking um at around about 30 pounds so yeah so a little bit more expensive you might pay six or seven pound for a conventional dust sheet as i said when you suddenly have to start buying two or three of them to get a covering and then they're going to skip after a, a two or three jobs if you're lucky and you have to keep replacing them it doesn't take very long for this, this to then pay for itself and um where can i buy one from 
Um, so again, you'll be able to get one of these from Brewers, um, Painters World Online have these listed. That's where they're doing them for about 30 quid. So um, yeah, they're, they're these, these are another product. They're available from online retailers, but again, whoever your local merchant is that you may use, um, I'm sure can order one of these in if you ask for it by name. Okay. Um, are you ready to do your next demonstration? Yeah, absolutely. So we have here, um, the other one I'm going to show you is, this one here is called the, the, the One Tough. So this is made of a synthetic fiber, okay? This is made of what's called Sontara. So being a synthetic material, again, it's incredibly strong. Um, there's no fibers going to get released from this, like you're going to get with cheap cottons and so on. But if I really pull at this and so on, it's, it just... It's not going to tear, it's not going to split. You can put ladders on this, it's not going to damage this in any way. It's exactly as its name it says. This is this is you know super super tough. It's made of a synthetic material. Um, and anybody anybody who's bought this product absolutely loves it and always comes back and buys more of them. Um, so this is available on a roll. Um, and yeah, super super popular product that we get here. Um, it's quite thin as well, very lightweight, so um, it's not difficult to put out and lay. Um, but yeah, another another really strong product that we have here, and they actually double up really well as making a tablecloth, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, what sizes do they come in? So the one top as a roll is available. In, well, we do um, a drop cloth of it, which is a nine by twelve, um, but we also do it by the roll. So if you want to roll it out, you're doing big jobs. Um, that will be um, it covers a hundred square foot basically. Um, so it's a 50 foot roll by by 24 inches, and yeah, that's um, it's going to cover 100 square feet. Okay, and um, how much are they? So these will be. Um, I haven't got a price tag on this particular product, but have a little look online, um, and you'll you'll be able to find these. I know that this is another product that Tool Station supply, so jump on Tool Station's website and see what what they're doing these for at the minute. But as a national, if you want to go and pick one up, your Tool Station on your doorstep will have these. I think you mentioned to me before when we was looking at the pricing that the on online you can get a nine by twelve for about um, under forty pounds. Yeah, yeah. So have a have a little look for those. See what they are. Um, but yeah, with the with this, um, jump on jump onto Tool Station's website. Be the best thing. Um, use them as a, as a guide. All right, perfect. Um, and you um, mentioned Tool Station. Who else stocks yeah. them? Sorry. Who stocks them? Um, so yeah, if you've got tool station, you'll have, again, I'll go back, you said use brewers again, nearly all of our products, but again, if they don't have them in stock and know they'll have the facility to order them in specifically. Um, but yeah, just, um, you know, like I said, with most of these products, go to your local merchants who you deal with and just, just, they will be able to get these in for you if they don't have stock of them already. And if I was using that step, um, put canvas on a job, how long could I expect? Oh, sorry, to that, that one there, that one's sorry. the one tough roll. Sorry, not the stay put. So the stay put I'll come on to. This was uh, this is the one, this is called the one tough. So apologies. I'll show you. Sorry, <laughs> apologies for that. Okay. And how long would that last? Um, again, you, it, it, it's going to come down to the amount of abuse that it takes. Um, but you can roll this out. You, if you buy it on the roll, well, as a dust sheet or on a roll, you can reuse this. Like I said, it's so strong that, you know, the ladders and stuff that go on there and stuff like that, it's not going to, it's probably going to last you. I, I would say you're going to get months out of it, not weeks. So again, okay. it's going to pay for itself um, in more ways than one against the conventional dust sheet. One, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to do a better job when you're actually working. Um, you're going to be able to get your job done a lot, lot quicker, but it'll actually last you a lot, lot longer as well. Oh, fantastic. Um, I just look in and we've got a question here from Andy. Um, yeah. He um, is just asking about the um, best tape to use with the X board. He said, unfortunately, his connection went a little when we were yeah. discussing it. And he was saying, can you tell him again what the best tape is to use and also yeah. the best place to purchase and, pri and what the price is? So, yeah, so the best tape to use for export, there is, it's actually called export seam tape. Um, so it's actually, it's sold, you know, it's, it just, just basically ask for it by name. Um, wherever you generally will buy your export from, just, just ask them for the, the export seam tape. So again, local merchants and stuff who stock the product, again, go back to brewers and those, I know tool station don't have it listed, which is a little bit more, which is a bit different to your conventional builders merchants because they can only sell what's listed. Um, but yeah, take a brewers, for example, if you go and buy some export from them and ask them for the tape, um, I know they can list that for you as well. 
Okay, perfect. Um, if anybody else has any questions, please feel free to put them in the questions box, ask a question. Um, and if you do want to come up on, on screen and talk to Paul, let us know and we'll bring you up to talk to him directly. Um, Paul, what's your next product? So the next one is the Stay Put Canvas that we were just talking about here. So this is our sort of top of the range dust sheet, if you like. Okay, so this, this particular product here, as we were talking earlier, the dust sheets in terms of, of where they're at are going in one direction. They are getting cheaper and thinner all the time because most dust sheets, they're getting driven by price. So to get into to a buyer with somebody, a, a particular company, that's normally done on price. So to make them uh, cheaper, they get thinner. Um, they also now, in a lot of cases, when they quote the size, maybe a nine by 12, they'll say approximate sizes because actually what they've done is they've taken an inch off them here and there to, to, to save, save on uh, on costs. So this product here, this is a swatch of the Stay Put Canvas Plus, okay? This product has not been um, developed or designed with cost in mind at all. This has been designed um, by painter and decorators for painter and decorators. So it's been designed to do a very specific job for them. So first of all, this is a canvas surface. So it's not cotton, it's canvas, so it's gonna be a lot tougher. It doesn't give off, off fibers in the same way that you get with a, with a lot of the very cheap cotton dust sheets. Underneath the canvas, you then have a, a plastic layer that's gonna hold any spillages and fluid in there. And then on the back, it has this rubberized gripper, okay? So as we were saying earlier, with most properties now, they're going to hard surfaces. So we're talking about tile floors, wood floors, marble floors, and so on. Your standard cotton dust sheets are gonna slide around, they're gonna move, they're gonna leave gaps. You need to put two or three of them down just to get a, a strong covering. And then after a couple of jobs or so, they end up going in and skip because they don't do the job anymore. This product here, the Stay Put Canvas, you could keep this, this should last you years. Um, you know, providing it doesn't get an entire tin of paint kicked on it or something. So um, it has a, the rubberized back. Again, the more pressure you put on that, the more it's going to stick to the surface that it's on. But it will stand up to, to lots and lots of spillages. So as you'll see, if I just pour a lot of fluid on there, that is just going to hold that on there and it's not going to soak through underneath. So yeah, big spillages of paint and so on. This will this will sit and hold the, the, the fluid in on top of the, the dust sheet there. Okay. Um, so what sizes do they come in, Paul? So we do these in, in a nine by twelve, um, a four by twelve stair runner, and we do them in a smaller four by four as well. Okay. And how much could I expect to pay for them? So the nine by 12, you're looking at just under 40 pounds for one of these. Again, you depend on, on who the retailer and stuff is, but if you have a little look online, they're about 40 pounds at the minute. Ah, uh, right, I see. And who stocks them? Um, again, you're looking at uh, online painters world list this product, so you can buy them directly online and have them shipped to you. Um, and then again, your local merchants, brewers and so on, if they don't have stock of these, can certainly order them in for you. Right. And if anybody, just, just on that, if anybody um, has any issues or difficulties trying to locate any of these products, um, send me an email. So my email address is paul.mousel, as it's spelled on the screen there, M-O-U-S-E-L-L at trimaco.com. Please get in touch with me. If you have any issues getting hold of any of these products, send me an email and I will direct you to somebody locally that, that can help you out. That's brilliant, Paul. And um, how long will that product, expect? is it expected to last? So again, you, you should get years out of it, really. I mean, we do know painters and so on that have bought these and they have lasted them years. So they will they will pay for themselves very, very quickly indeed. Um, so again, if we, if we convert it back to the opposite end of the scale with cheap cotton dust sheets, you keep throwing in a skip and keep having to replace every two or three jobs you know, a five pound dust sheet isn't a five pound dust sheet. If you need three of them to do a job, it actually becomes a 15 pound dust sheet. And if you get three jobs out of them and throw them away and replace them, that means it's cost you 30 pound for six jobs. Well, this is 40 and it's gonna last you, like I said, it could last you years. All right, it's well worth the extra money then, isn't mm -hmm. it? Absolutely. So um, what's the next product you've got for us? So the next one, I've got lots of things here with water all over them. Let me slide that out of the way. Yeah, hang on, that's just still. <laughs> I think, 
<laughs> right, so the next product we have to show you um, is our Easy Up Dust Containment Cold that you can see here. Now, this isn't a full size product as you can well imagine. Uh, this is a, a, a smaller version of our product. So, our dust containment holes are seeing massive growth for a number of reasons. Spraying is becoming much, much more popular now um, in the UK. Um, so a lot of uh, extensions now where um, people are keeping the property they've got and extending them rather than to keep moving and so on. So these are ideal in that sense. Um, but also there's been a big upturn in sales on these as um, a temporary barrier. So with the world that we're living in right now, if you're having issues getting onto job sites and so on because of social distancing, number of people and so on, um, these are ideal in that you can create a temporary screen. You can work one side, potentially if it's a, an office or wherever you need to work, and the people in the office can be the other side without you having to, to, to come into contact with them in any way. So this is all one unit, okay? As I said, this is just a demo piece. This isn't the, the full size. So we do these in 12, 16, and 20-foot poles. So they're rubberized at the top and the bottom, and there's no detachable parts. This is one complete piece. Um, it has an adjuster on the bottom and an adjuster on the top, depending on the, the, the uh, type of uh, floors and ceilings you're working with. It then has a pin here that's on a spring mechanism. So you put your polythene around the top, and the pin here is going to hold that into position. So whether you use thin or thick polythene, this is going to do its job. And then we've got our adjusters here. We've got one there, we've got an adjuster here, and then we've got this micro adjuster. So when you get to nearly where the ceiling is, the top of the ceiling, you've got that micro adjuster with your foot there to, to give you your final um, adjustment that you need. There you go. Okay. Um, so do you sell the polythene for these um, pole systems? Um, no, no, you can use any sort of polythene. Go to a builder's merchants or so on. Um, any sort of polythene can be used because of the way the pin system here is so thick and so robust, the thinnest or thickest polythene is going to sit in there. So you're not going to have issues with it sliding about and with it moving because this has got the rubberized top and the pin to hold it into place. But no, you can simply go and buy any polythene or use any sheets of polythene that you may already have. Um, but no, we sell the poles and we sell the, the, the zipper door. So we do um, a double-sided zip that basically quite simply, once you've got the whole system up, attach the, the, the zip to the middle, open the zip, put a knife down the middle, and then you've got an access point in and out of the polythene. Um, and how much would I expect to pay for this, the pole system? So um, again, Painters World Online, if you want to just quick reference point, they're doing them for £109, including VAT. Um, for the 12 foot pole. But what we are doing at the minute is um, anywhere you get these from, um, there's 20% discount on these through to the end of October. Oh, that's fantastic. It's well worth take, taking a look now and um, yeah, saving absolutely. on that discounted price. Yeah. yeah. And um, this is the product that we've got our competition running on. So Correct. if you want to try and win a set of these, we've got two sets that we're giving away. Um, the yeah. competition ends on the 30th of September. And there is a link there in comments. Um, and the button as well at the bottom of the screen will take you directly through to that competition when we've finished if you want to have a look and enter. Um, yeah. So where can I buy them from? Um, so again, painters well do these. I know that um, if you were to be in the north of England, Bromborough Paints um, will get these for you. If you take the southwest, I know sort of Rabats are quite a big chain. They too, again, will support the 20% discount as well. So you go into those guys, whichever size you want, they'll support the 20% discount on them. Okay. Um, we've got a question here saying, is the price that you've given, is that the price for a poll or for a set? That's for a pair. So that's for a pair of poles. Okay, fantastic. Do we have any more questions from anyone? Right, Paul, have you um, finished with your demonstrations or do you have anything else you want to show us this afternoon? Um, no, I think that's pretty much it. As I said, we do various masking products. So our clean edge tape is, is incredibly popular. Um, we do masking films, we do masking paper. Um, but again, if anyone has any questions on anything that, that they've seen um, that we haven't covered, by all means, get in touch with me. Again, visit trimaco.com. That will show you the entire range of everything we do. And again, if anyone has any follow-up questions about anything they see on there, 
um, drop me an email and I can sort of direct them in to their nearest stockist and so on. Ah, oh, fantastic. Well, thanks ever so much for joining us this morning. Um, it's a really informative session and I'm sure that people got a lot from that. And um, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye, Paul. Bye-bye.